It's been a long time since I did this. What's up everybody, my name is Evan Naka and we are back yet again in the home studio, the garage. It's been a while since I've done any kind of like full length tutorial based long form video. I've been really focused on photo shoots, video shoots, working with brands and clients and things have been going amazing, but it has left a very small amount of time for me to actually do this, which is something I really love doing. So I'm excited. Today I have a day off, it's actually Memorial Day and I'm gonna shoot something. So this is what I'm thinking. This isn't gonna be for a brand or anything. This is actually just something for myself, something that I've been wanting to shoot because I did a video a while ago and it got a lot of attention and I can't remember off the top of my head, but it had like millions of views, millions. And it just blew my mind. And it was the video that I did with Fossil. Now Fossil didn't pay me for that shoot, nor was I trying to use it to get new clients or anything like that. It was just one of those things where I was like, hey, this might be kind of fun. I'm gonna run outside. I'm gonna hang up my fossil watch that I own and I'm gonna shoot this little video. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, obviously, and I'm gonna show you how I set up that shot. Now we're not gonna be using a fossil watch today. We're gonna be using something a little bit different because it's clean, it's new, I'm excited about it. And I'm just gonna show you what it is. Today we're gonna be using Rolex. So we're gonna be shooting a Rolex watch today. Let me show you a little sneak peek of what it looks like. Oh my God. Yeah, very nice, very clean watch. I mean, I mean, Rolex is just like one of the watch brands that are just, it's timeless. No pun intended, pun intended, I don't know. But what I'm really gonna be showing you today is the setup, how I set, set up, how I strung it up on the fishing wires and how we got those light streaks and we'll create a little mini commercial at home. Super easy to do. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So hopefully when you're on your own time, you're able to recreate something very similar using things you have laying around the house. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also just appreciate this shirt, I just got it. It's Queen, it's my favorite band. I've been like looking for vintage rock tees and I can never find Queen ones. You always find Rolling Stone, you find Pink Floyd, you find those everywhere. You can't find Queen very often, so I was stoked when I got this one. This total side note doesn't matter in the slightest of Okay, setup today is gonna be fairly simple. Just like I had it on the fossil shoot that I did, I'm gonna have a C-stand arm coming across here and I'm on Apple Box, basically just acting as my weight on the bottom and you'll see why in a little bit. Today, the light one that we're gonna be using is a, I don't even know what this is called, a digital photo channel, no, no, that's not it. Chameleon? A chameleon RGB light tube. I picked it up off of Amazon. Seem pretty good, turns colors, it'll do. Also, camera that I'm gonna be using today is Sony a7S III. I got a few new lenses that I wanna try out. I got my 70 to 200, which I'm stoked about. I've used it on a couple beauty shoots, and that fly is just not leaving me alone. I used it on a couple of beauty shoots. I loved it for photo, haven't really used it for video, so we'll try that out today. I have another macro lens, it's a 100 millimeter macro lens, and then I have something else, which is not here. I'll be right back. We're gonna be using this probe lens. Now, I've actually used this a couple of times and it is awesome. The ability to like get up close and personal to your product, subject, whatever you're shooting. I mean, it's just epic. You just stick this on your camera, point it at something, it's gonna look good. They give you like this metal silver box thing. It makes you feel like you're in Mission Impossible. Like, like trying to deliver the package before something like a bomb goes off or something like that. But it just makes it feel like extra special. I don't know. I wanna keep this really simple. So it's actually doable at home. You can do this with, maybe it's not a watch, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a liquor that you're shooting. Maybe it's like a can or another product or you can add this into the whole video by itself. But I'm gonna do it all based off of basically one setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I string up the watch. Now, if I was really doing like a high-end watch shoot or just a high-end shoot in general, or just basically any shoot, sometimes I like to wear gloves, keeps from getting any fingerprints or anything on anything like that. But like I said today, let's keep it simple, keep it fast. So I got my 
watch Stronger, and now you're gonna see why this Apple box is important because you can see how it's just uh, shaking a little bit right here. I don't want that, I don't want that jiggle. I'm gonna be so tight on this watch that if it does that, it's gonna fall out of focus and it's just gonna be just mayhem. It's good, shot's gonna take so much longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna anchor it down to the Apple box or this could be anything else that has a little bit of weight on it and it'll keep it from moving and that way it won't fall out of focus. This is also another tool that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. This is a Leatherman. I have like three of these. They are awesome. They come in handy all the time. They have a screwdriver, they have a multi-tool, they have everything. Like, it's a great tool for any photographer to have. Just be careful, because I actually clamped my finger on it, actually. Can you see that? This was like two months ago, and it's still swollen. I was trying to use a knife as a screwdriver. Um, don't do that. We got the camera set up, we got the watch set up. We're using the 70 to 200 first. We're gonna get kind of the wider shots on that. What this lens is gonna be able to do now, since it is that telephoto lens, is it is just gonna throw out everything in the background out of focus. It's gonna make that completely black. I'm probably gonna to have to close and block off all the other light coming in here. But once I do that, I should have almost a purely black image. And then once I hit it with those highlights, it'll just make that watch just pop. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some of our wide shots. So now that I got kind of my straight on shots, I'm gonna go ahead and get it at a different angle. Same lens. As we start setting up for the probe shot, the thing with this lens is, is that you're gonna need a lot of light because we're shooting at such a high aperture. Just to let you know, I don't think this thing goes below f14 and it goes all up to f40. At this macro of a shot, you want that aperture that high because you want everything you can to be in focus. Um, if it was shooting at like in, you know, on a typical macro lens, that was gonna be like a, you know, even like an aperture at four. You're gonna throw so much out of focus, you're gonna focus on this, that little piece, and maybe that's what you want, but for this shot, you want everything in focus, and that's what we're trying to achieve right here. And there you have it. You got your at-home, do-it-yourself watch commercial, super easy, simple setup. I'm gonna take this to editing, and we'll see what we get. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name is Evan Naka and see you all next time.